Hey you guys, it's your girl Essie and I'm back with another YouTube for you and your mama. I said YouTube, I'm back with another video for you and your mama. As y'all see by the title, we have a big seafood boil. We got the lobster tails, the sausages, the corn, the potatoes, the crab legs. Y'all see all the like good oh, meat. Lobster tail. It's in there. Oh. My two is somewhere over here. Okay. Yeah, what you like? Right there. And then your other lobster tail is somewhere over here. Right there and there. Somewhere in there. So yeah, you guys. So I'm about to dig in. I'm trying to figure out. Because the pot's so big, you can't record you picking it up. Oh, I got nails to pull out this kick sand. Yeah, yeah I ain't gonna do it. It's hella great. I think she eating all the food. Lena? Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. So y'all just gonna see me as I grab from the bowl, and I'm gonna talk to you guys when I'm eating. So. Let me see. Which one I wanna grab first? Then I'm gonna grab this potato first and dip it in my butter. You season your butter? I don't season it. Lena is too happy. Baby, baby. Mm hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you I gotta hand you it as it go. Y'all don't know how to open it, PJ. Why would I put some crab legs down there for y'all? Y'all know how to bite them open. Okay. Got the sausages. Mmm. I ain't never had sausages, woman. Okay. I see why y'all had the sausages. We're gonna do this lobster tail. Mm. Oh, buddy! Buddy, buddy! Oh, the sauce is all poured all over it. Mm -hmm. Here y'all go. Try some of that lobster too. Sit down, Gabby. Get out your Lena, PJ. Get you selfish ass boy. All that lobster tail was not for you. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's lobster. My kids is down there on the floor. They on their little towels. They eating it too. Yeah. Boy, you ain't getting no more than my last two. I can see that. Mmm. 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 Try to love each other. Mmm. Wow. Yes, I did. Good. Mmm. Yeah. This is about to be a real messy situation. How y'all been now? Be good? That's good. I'm glad you guys been good. I've been just at peace, freedom, happiness. <laughs> no stress. No stress. No, no more. Yeah. Got my wine. I don't gotta deal with no more verbal abuse, no more mental abuse, no more emotional abuse. Happy. And try some of this corn. Yeah.
Mmm. 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 for you. Bite it. Bite it, BJ. Yeah, like <laughs> hey, Gabby. No! Hmm. Hey, 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 hey. I need my butter. Oh. I really just poured it back in my bowl. I need my butter. Why are you not over your butter? The corn fell. The corn fell into my bowl. You see, I didn't even know how to eat corn. No. I didn't want her to feel left out. She's gonna try to fight me over her shit. Yep. There you go. Lee. Yep. Bite it. Bite it. Whatever stage you can get. <coughs> <coughs> okay, y'all. Um, for the finale, what I've been waiting on, crab legs. Mmm. Oh. Now we cook these crab legs in some Corona. The beer, not the virus. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say? Don't show me on the camera. Why are you pretty? Mommy said the beer and I thought I shot her. Yeah. Yeah, well, but she ain't lying. Uh, I was about to say your nana is not lying, but I'm talking to him. My mommy is not lying, though. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. 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 That bad boy hit him. Oh, they over here look like what? <laughs> Y'all want to try crab leg? Yeah. That's what they wish. Yeah, yeah Lena. Mm. <laughs> 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 These guys do a happy day. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, Gabby, I'm about to give you a piece. Uh, hey, Gabby. No, Lena, I just gave you a piece. Can I get another piece? We all take turns. And that's why your little butt need to learn how to crack them open, so I ain't got to be cracking them open for you. Shit, when we as y'all age, we learned how to crack them butt boys open because we want to do Y'all just bit them open. Yep. Mmm. Mm. Eat the corn instead of banging on it with mm. on the on the thing. Y'all, this is so good. Eat it. You know, I miss me posting. I miss y'all so much. Like this. I was going through so much, and I really couldn't post. My iPhone wouldn't let me. You need a space. So it was just, it was just a sticky situation. 
But I'm back. And you guys will be seeing Martin. Bye, Dave. Mm. She was on her back pulling it. Mm. Mm. You want some more chocolate? We're gonna take the potato. You want some butter sauce? Give me a potato. Get that, grab that smaller one. That one's too big. No, that's the corn. Yeah, be like, here, get this corn. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, there right you it. go, Gabby. There you go. I tried, about to say, I tried to show her how to bite There it. you go. She did it. She did it. Good job. Now eat the potato. Good job. You eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Linda, I'm gonna show my potato. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> I bet you it was coated in chocolate shit, you did. Mm. 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 Yeah. A potato coated in chocolate? You gotta think about potato yeah. chips. They be coating potato chips in chocolate, they would be selling that as a snack. I would actually do that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Potatoes just melt in your mouth like butter. Mm. No, what's up, Brian? This is well played, mommy. We just let him play, y'all. Eat it. I'm really messy, you guys. So, y'all gotta worry about me touching my phone. I got a pen for that. Hey, mommy. She's playing. No. I've been sitting here watching her like, stop, like rubbing her hand, her hand over her toe. Mama, mm -hmm. What? You want some more grab it? Gabby, put it down if you're not gonna eat it. Yeah. Good. Let's go. Don't waste it. Potatoes waste it. I don't know. It ain't gonna be wasted if I'm eating it. Yeah, you can mix that mashed up potatoes down there. You can mix them like that for me. You said, come on. I hear how fun and how much fun my baby's is having right now. Poor and good, ain't it? Mommy! Mommy! You can't! No, she's not. Don't play like that, we do. Sauce it and the butter. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. What? Stop, Daddy, stop it and sit down. Because you're not going to let me to your mama wash your hands. And you are done. Yes, 
some lemon juice in her eye or something. Rub the towel in your eye. You just don't look at her. Put your hair down. Come here. Bend. Bend. <laughs> Stop, Gabby, sit now. Is it alright? Yeah. Look, you should eat the Oh, look at this, y'all. <laughs> My fingers is burning though, because my fingernails is right now, they booty fingers. They at the shortest of the nubs, and when there's lemon juice hit it, it burns. That's not more, but I will say, I went to a... I don't trust that either. I don't eat that part of it. What? I, I went through a heartbreak, a bad breakup. The nigga don't know how to just get his shit and walk away. Even if he didn't want to be with me. He had to call his sister over to eat my that. house to try to fight me in front of my kids. Eat that, Gabby. I mean, you didn't Bite this part. Like that. Bite that part. It's best to just run away as fast this as you part. can. Bite it. If you're in a relationship with somebody and they want to see you hurt, they don't love you. They do not love you because anybody that you're in a relationship with should be your protector, your provider. They shouldn't threaten your life or send family to try to fight you. I've never had to deal with that before. Like, me and my ex had a disagreement. And we end, I've never ended up on bad terms with anybody I've ever been with. So, this is... So, when you feel like an individual, who, like I said, who tries to have their family hurt you and put your life in danger in front of the kids and with the kids around it's not love, it's time to go. It's best, it's time to go. Because a real man, a real man would never allow his family to disrespect you and put your life in danger by his family. Regardless of what y'all go through. Regardless of what we go through. Because no relationship is per perfect. Every relationship you're going to go through, your ups and downs, you're going to... Sometimes you might not always, you know, agree to agree. Sometimes you might always agree to disagree. You just gotta find a place to be cordial. You just gotta find a spot where you both can be, you know, cordial when you get it into a disagreement. He hasn't matured. That's why he don't know how to fucking do this shit. Maturity is a motherfucker. Like when a motherfucker is mature, they know how to act like a grown ass man. I understand. My sister, my mama ain't got nothing to do with these kids we made. Not for real. Let me handle my shit as a grown ass man. Knowing that these are my three kids. They like she had other kids. I, was, I ain't fuck your sister. So I don't even know why the fuck her, her big ass came to my goddamn shit. Well, his sister's brother, a bully. I'm about to say something else. Let me not say that on camera. Because, I mean... What, his sister's I, a bully. She liked to bully people smaller than her. But she'll never pick a fight with people her size. So. Right, There's so much that I can say about his sister for her to sit there and say that I don't deserve my kids. She don't deserve her kids. Because last time I checked, she went out in the streets popping pills and fucking and sucking. And moving on in relationships with niggas fast as fuck, she don't even fucking know. And then whole life moving in and getting a house with a nigga that she barely even fucking know. Then got her nigga just uh, tearing up her mama's house, and then she tearing up her mama's car. Too much out there. You know they know they be watching that shit. I don't care though, cause still a fake as fuck. How you gonna talk about that shit about about him and his mom can't stand can't stand his sister cause she tear up her mama's car. She trash her mama's car. But she got so much to say about me though. 
But you over here your whole life letting a nigga disrespect your mama's house, putting holes all and shit all in her wall. But you got so much shit to say about me. You pulling up in my shit when you don't even you don't even know what goes on behind all closed doors besides the lies that Philip tell me. She don't even know that half the time every day I deal with abuse being called a bitch every day and they get told I ain't shit. I'm never gonna be shit. You ain't nothing but a slut. You ain't nothing but a dyke ass bitch. This is what I did, I hear every day though, but his family don't even, they're never around. They never even took a chance to get to know me. They don't know that part because that's not what they gonna tell them. Why he gonna tell them lies? Oh, you You're the wrong. problem. You this, you that, you that. Tell them what the fuck you did for me to snap on your ass. And I've always tried to have a relationship with his sister, but she just, every time I try to play, her, like, can we go shopping? Can we go get our nails done? She will always push me to the side like, I ain't really fucking with her, but she, but let it come to let it come to another female on the streets that's popping pills or fucking this up, and I'm pretty sure you try to be my best friend. Like that's corny. Mm, it's gonna taste good. Probably. Mm. Mm, probably gonna taste good. Mm. I don't know about yours. I'm cooking up some bad man. Man, that, that just broke my heart. Because his family, don't they never even tried to take the time to get to know me. I mean, I'm the coolest, nicest person. I just don't tolerate no disrespect. They used to deal with that being treated like that. So that's why they don't see nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Right. If you and your significant other get into a fight, y'all, why do y'all got to... There should be no point. Why do you gotta disrespect your significant other and call your significant other a bitch? Just because you're having an argument or disagreement. That's not normal to me because I've never dealt with that with any of my exes. Like, that's weird. Like, I've never. Stuff that I dealt with with him, I've never experienced with any of my exes. I would have never thought that that he would have treated me. The way that Put he it did. down, Gabby. And he don't see nothing wrong in me. Like, he's never gonna feel like he's wrong for anything that he did to me because he's a narcissist. Hey. Then you can eat the sausage then. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna wash my hands. Hi. 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 Where you going? You let your mama help you with that pizza. Why would you rub your hands on it? He gave you a hug. I know, but did he wash his hands? No. That's my point. Mama, mama, mama. Let's help them get wash their hands. Okay, you guys done? Yeah. Okay. Let me wash you guys' his hands. Mommy. And you wait a minute, Catalina. What? You what me again when I pop you in your mouth? Y'all see how much food we got left? You don't what me, you say yes. Oh, Get, Get your hair. ass in here. Get your hands clean. What's that you mushroom? What? Yeah, I think she was yeah. trying to find us the whole mommy so she could wash her hands. Yeah, she did it. Go wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, so sweet. Yeah, yeah. on the right. She said, "Hi, come <laughs> Yeah, this word is for like 
Washed our hands is washing us the the um the butter off. It smells like booty. What? What did she want? You got, you got pee? Hurry up, PJ. Oh, and just so you guys know, I potty trained my kids. My oh. son already been potty trained, but I my um I bought my daughter some panties, and she is fully potty trained. She wears panties every day, all day, and the only time she gets diapers when it's time to let her in bed. Up. Yeah, yeah, right. It's not a diaper. Pull up, correction. Pull up, because that's what they got in the big old box. Pull up. But only time that she puts on a pull up is when it's time to go to bed. Yeah. 